فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد The question that was asked is the ruling of combining between the Jum'ah and Asr. A person is saying, I'm a traveler. I pray Salatu, I, I pray uh, the Jum'ah prayer. And then I wanted to combine it with Asr. What is the ruling? Um, brothers and sisters, First of all, we need to know الأصل في الصلاة وجوب أدائها في وقتها المحدد لها شرعا That the original ruling regarding the prayer is that it's obligatory That it is established at its correct time And Allah made time for every salah As He said إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا سورة النساء آية 103 That the salah on the believers, it is at a appointed, appointed time. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was asked about the best of actions, which are most beloved to Allah wa Taala, he said, "As-salatu uh, ala waqtiha." The hadith is narrated by Bukhari and Muslim. And the ulama are in a unanimous agreement. وَقَدْ أَجْمَعَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ The Muslimin are in unanimous agreement. على أن الصلوات الخمسة that the five daily prayers مؤقتة بمواقيت معلومة محدودة that the five daily prayers have a time which are designated which one has to pray except that the Sunnah has also permitted with um, the people who are أهل الأعذار people who have excuses such as the travelers and Others that they are allowed to combine between Dhuhr and Asr, Maghrib and Isha, Daf'al lil Haraj fi Safar wal Hadari. If the person is a traveler or if the person is in a state in which he is uh, unable to pray, then the Sharia has given him a Rukhsa. But, Lam Yari Dalil al Shari, there's no text and ruling. Which permits Yujizu Jam al Asr il al Jum'ati Mutlaqa. There is no evidence that indicates or shows the permissibility of combining Jum'ah and Asr. There is no evidence whatsoever. La taqdiman wa la ta'khiran. Whether if it's combining to bring the salah forward or to delay the salah later, there's no evidence. Meaning to pray Jum'ah later with Asr or to pray it uh, early. لا في السفر ولا في الحضر. Not as a traveler and not even as a resident. And because of that, أكثر أهل العلم, the majority of أهل the scholars, are upon the view which is مقررين أن من صلى الجمعة that the person who prays جمعة من أهل الأعذار from the people who are excused يجب it is obligatory أن يصلي العصر في وقتها that he prays عصر at its time. He has no excuse. The majority of scholars are of that view. خلافاً أن يزن أبسيد لمن أجاز الجمع Some scholars have permitted it وهو مذهب بعض السلف And it's the view of some of the scholars of the salaf نعم ومذهب الجمهور أحصح وأقوى But the view that is the strongest is the view of the majority seems to be the strongest and the most authentic ما لم يدخل المسافر as long as the traveler harm does not enter him ها مع إمام بلدة مر عليها الجمعة بنية الظهر قصرا فإنه الحال هذه يسع دون غيره أن يجمع مع العصر ليتابع سفره أباسا أنت زي سيتي ها with the imam of the city جمعة with the intention he's a traveler he comes by a city he comes to the what he comes to the masjid and he prays and his intention is ظهر in his heart he prays Dhuhr in his heart, which is short. Because the Jum'ah is two rak'ah, right? Dhuhr. He prays the two rak'ah of Dhuhr as what? As uh, Jum'ah, sorry. As Dhuhr, which is shortened it. But in his heart, is not Jum'ah. It's Dhuhr. 
door. He, and, and he wants to leave and he's, and he's moving. At this point, it's permitted for him and he's allowed, he is allowed to uh, shorten, uh, combine it with Asr because of the, um, because of the necessity that, or the, the burden that it may cause him. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala knows وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما